Typically, this time of year, news organizations unveil their list of the year's top stories. Here at 69 News, we asked our reporters to do something a little different. Yeah, I and mean, that is to pick a story that really struck a nerve with them as they covered it, and to tell you a bit about why that story matters so much to them. 69 News reporter Jackie Ferris had more now on an emerging health concern and how it inspired her to take action. In all of the years I've been reporting, there have only been a few stories that made me concerned for my safety. And the hope that this country will never see another earthquake. One was covering the aftermath of the 2010 Haiti earthquake. Another was a series on microplastics earlier this year. It may seem like a stark contrast, but the reality is I may have been safer covering an earthquake than from the potential health impacts of microplastics or fragments of plastic that range from the nearly invisible to the size of a sesame seed. That's because plastic is all around us. We microwave our food in it, drink from it, it's in our clothes and personal hygiene products. It breaks down into tiny particles that float around our homes or fibers that wash down the drain into the waterways. But before this story, I didn't know any of this. Put it in slowly, submerge it. My awakening, as it were, started after meeting Farron Savitz, a zero waste advocate with Penn Environment. We got video of him taking water samples from the Little Lehigh. After 53 waterways, hundreds of samples taken, we found microplastics everywhere that we looked. We took things a step further and gave Savitz water samples from three Lehigh Valley homes, one of which came from my kitchen faucet. All three samples came back with microplastic fibers, films, or fragments. It's unclear if they came from the water, plumbing, or the collection process, but it was eye-opening. Even more startling was learning that scientists believe the average person ingests about a credit card's worth of plastic each week. I interviewed two of the world's leading researchers on the potential health impacts of ingesting all those microplastics. It's a huge uh, public health crisis that, that we are face, facing and we will be facing. Both confirmed that microplastics have been found in human blood, lungs, brains, even in placenta. And that chemicals in some plastics have been linked to cancer, hormone disruption, obesity, fertility issues, and diabetes. All this information spurred me to purge my kitchen of plastic. You should have seen the look on my husband's face as the pile of plastic got bigger. I replaced all of that plastic with glass and silicone items and downloaded a handy app called My Little Plastic Footprint to get a checklist of other ways to reduce my plastic consumption. This may sound extreme to some, but knowing what I know now, avoiding microplastics is just one of the ways I'm trying to keep my family and the planet healthy. Jackie Ferris, 69 News.